Hey everyone, welcome to another video view. This is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. You can see him there in front of his box. We'll go ahead and put him off the side. And yes, the looks on the box. You can see Crankcase there in his uh, vehicle mode, just kind of with headlights and uh, gun firing and all that stuff. Legacy and Transformers. You got Legacy up here on the top. You have, well, Crankcase. Nice artwork with the Crankcase in there in his robot mode. You got some of the line white artwork back over here. You got um, manufacturing stuff and down here at the bottom and of course you have the product shots and warnings and well the QR code if you want to see tech specs there you go you also have the instructions which pretty pretty well done I guess for the most part and uh, yeah um there you go and well yeah he is crankcase and he is a retooling of uh, legacy skids for better or for worse, and yeah, he is uh, very much a blue robot with some, well, nice silver details. He got a nice orange face there. He looks a little unhappy. You got some, I guess, uh, teal aqua turquoise, I don't know, tur teal turquoise coloring right there. You got some silver and black. Of course, you have the blue and black down here as well. You got the blue and black there. You got the kind of a backpack, you know, blue and black, blue, blah, blah, blue stripes there. And Guy's little guns right there. Yeah, his little shoulder guns. He still has them, despite the fact that the gimmick of uh, them auto popping is no longer there. These guns are still there, although they're very tiny. And I think also you can also, if you really want to, you can just hide the guns away. Just push them down, you know, like that. They'll hide away. And if you want to get them back out, you can just go ahead and put a finger up in here and just, well, push them back out. And there you go. He's got his guns again. Sometimes they might get caught a little bit. Or... There we go. Yeah, so he's got his guns. They're just tiny. I've seen kits already to kind of attach these and make them longer so that they're closer to, I guess, the original. He's also got accessories, which is one of which is, well, this gun, which is done in a very smoky, translucent plastic. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, peg into his hand or whatever, have him holding it. The other one is this. It's his, uh, well, it's his grill, but also this part can fold down, and I guess those are barrels for a gun. That's kind of neat. So he kind of has a, he has this gun, which is kind of an interesting one. That's all that. And of course, if you want to store these, you can you know take them. You know, there's a peg hole back here. You can you kind know, of put this one right there. And this, well, if you want to store one thing, you do is uh, well, fold that back up and then peg it in right here. Now he's got a more traditional uh, car chest, if you want. So that's the thing you can do. It's uh works pretty well. Still looks good. Yeah, it's a, uh, that's a thing. Yeah, um, I actually like this robot. It's kind of an interesting looking robot to say the least, but do like him quite a bit. His, his torso is torso's kind of weird. I'm trying to figure out whether and how he's supposed to sit, but I think it's supposed to be like this. So yeah, you can see kind of leaning back as of how they modified uh, skids. His head is um, on a ball joint. He got, well, left and right. He brings the plate with it, which I don't mind, but some people apparently this really bothers them. Go figure. Yeah, you got left and right, up and down, a little bit of wiggle. Again, the guns here can go up and down as you want them to. You know, even them up or down, however you want, whatever you wish. Shoulders can go f do a full 360. You got an outward, although it's kind of a weird one because you got, well, that it kind of goes out right there, so you can bang himself in the head with his own shoulder. Uh, you got this rotation, which is interesting because of the transformation, but it doesn't really help. I don't feel like it helps much with um, posing, although you can adjust how the shoulders look, I guess. you got the Because you got the bicep solo, so you can kind of do that if you want, although it looks kind of weird at that point because now you're exposing jointage. Yeah, you got the bicep swivel. You do have an elbow bend about 90 degrees, and he does have a wrist swivel if I can. Yeah, you can have a wrist swivel. That's nice. Shoulders can... Or not, wow, shoulders, waist can rotate to 360. No problem. Hips, you got pretty far forward, actually. Um, you got that far back. You got this far outward. You have a thigh swivel. Knees, about 90, and actually a little forward, too. So you can break his legs. And uh, ankles got a lot of tilts as well. So there you go. Pretty decent little bit of uh, posability. It looks pretty good, honestly. Um, I mean, it's, it's crankcase. It's so he's really obscure. The only reason I know about him is because of few, honestly. <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, you got that. And a real quick comparison. Here he is with his original version of, uh, well, the skids, you know, the original version of the mold. And you can see how much they remolded the chest stuff specifically, but you can see the legs are pretty much the same period. Like the legs are almost identical, except for the, the, how the outer car stuff looks. The shoulders are different. You know, no more uh, door wings and yeah, new head, but yeah, a large, lot, lot of the same engineering and whatnot. So, yeah. So, transformation. Well, again, take the uh, guns and pull outside. Go ahead and take this and fold that up like that. Put those off to the side for now. So, yeah, so first thing here you want to do is go ahead and uh, bring this up. Kind of bring this down. You're going to more or less bring the guns back to bring that back and down. This will come up and the head should it's all lined up. The head should uh, line up right there. That, that's the hood. And also line up and that will kind of click into place when you've got this folded down right. And we got this folded down right. It'll just kind of click into place right there. I actually made those things stay up like that. That might be better. Yeah. So I think it might be better just to keep them up like that. And the shoulders are kind of interesting because, yeah, again, you use this to uh, bring them in and then bring this up. Yeah, bring that, in, rotate them down, bring them in and bring that up like that. And then the arms right here are supposed to tab in a place right about there. Yeah, you get this all straightened down. There's the arms tabbing right there. Although they might not like to do right now. And here at the legs, you want to go ahead and you know, push the, make sure the feet are like this. Open these up, peg this together, peg this all together, and bring them up like this. And then right here, there's a joint, there's a joint right there. Bring it up there and then, yeah. And then the, the hips also bring it forward and it's kind of weird. For some reason, this fights a lot more than it does on skids. And then there's, there's tabs right here on the back of the legs, which go up into slots on the, hood piece and hopefully when it's all said and done you got everything set properly because it likes to fight like a lot Fix some of that. There we go. And bring that all up, and that will tab in. There we go. Tabs in. Although it's supposed to be. There we go. Yeah, I, did, I didn't get quite get it all lined up properly. There we go. And then go ahead and bring these down, and they'll tab into the sides. That and the latch in, and all that stuff. I did not push it all the way, and then take the wheels here and bring those up out like that and then take the front piece and stop dropping it and then and go ahead and peg that in right there and there you go that's a crankcase in his vehicle mode so yeah um pretty decent little uh, vehicle mode i mean it's when i've seen a crankcase's original g1 self it's pretty uh it's close to it you know, it's mostly black with some blue detailing. You get the blue striping there. You got Decepticon against a badge against a teal uh, square. All that stuff. You got, you know, nicely picked out headlights and stuff. And some nice mold detail. Got a little bit of detailing right there. On against the back there. You got the spare wheel, I guess. Got a peg hole. You got some blue venting right there. Got exhaust pipes and all that stuff. You got some silver rims. Although you can see on the front they're kind of clipped. You can tell they're clipped on. And it's a weird thing that's on there. I don't know what that is. Got it off, whatever it was. And yeah. Of course, you can take the weapon here and, you know, store it up here if you want as a gun. Or you could, oh, I, my thing, which is that peg hole right here, or this peg hole. That peg hole, this peg hole right here, you just go ahead and plug it on like that. And it kind of stores a feel a little better. A little more hidden. The only thing about the wheels back here, the back heels, the wheels are like, they want to go out. They can. This one could go out further than it's supposed to. You can see that. And they also collapse, or they don't no like locking point. I think this collapse really easily if you're not careful. But 
I say he rolls pretty well, except now he's not rolling. He can roll pretty well, except, yeah, he's got, that's this weird thing of, like, the front tires are, like, only the outer part spins in front of that, because there's a high amount of friction, so it doesn't, they won't roll as should, well as they should, but the rear wheels do happily roll, no problem. And you can see this one's actually rolling, but this one doesn't want to roll, because... Yeah, this one doesn't want to roll because there's a lot of friction there, unfortunately. So, there's that. That's a pretty neat little truck car thing. I don't know. A hatchback? Yeah, hatchback. Anyway, here he is compared to uh, skids. You can see, yeah, they did send... This is where the, you know, major pre-shelling. This is a bit wider overall at the roof and everything. All the back here, you can kind of tell that... Uh, the backs are pretty close to the same, not quite the same, but pretty close, except for some extra detailing um, right there. There's some extra bits. Now you can see just some significant uh, adjustments here and there, but a lot of similarities too. Yeah, even the the slope of the uh, the hood is a bit different between the two of them. So there you go. So uh. Crankcase, he's interesting. Um, I feel like there's a couple things. Namely, the, the the thing fights me a lot in transformation, as you saw. It just really fights me. It doesn't want to come together. I don't know what it is that the, that one joint for to fold the the waist up into here just does not want to move. It just really wants to fight. Um, I've noticed the te chest, like the chest hood thing, likes to come undone so really easily. Like it, it'll peg in or tab in or whatever to the chest piece, like the the central torso, but it really likes to come undone. Um, and again, this wheel has so much friction, it doesn't want to spin very much. It really doesn't want to spin versus this one does spin a little bit. So it's got a, it's kind of got a little few flaws here and there, but nothing too bad. At least in mine, it might be very, and this, this all right here is annoying because these, there's no soft, there's no locking point. This one will just, uh, pop itself all the way out. No, without even, a, you know, no hesitation, just pop itself all the way out and, you know, look a little weird, but yeah it's overall still a pretty good looking vehicle still pretty good looking robot it's pretty neat but it is also a remold of skids so now i put some people off because you know i know some people weren't really too thrilled with the skids mold but i don't know this is one of those things where it's like let's be real crankcase is pretty obscure so this is probably going to be the best you get for a long while for when it comes to updates of old g1 dudes so uh take it or leave it i guess but um I think overall it's a pretty smart remold of skids and it works pretty well. It just has a few weird possible QC issues. Again, namely um, getting the rear end to line up properly until so actually peg and tab and everything. I've just had trouble with it, but uh, maybe other ones are built better, so who knows. But yeah, it's fine. I don't know. I'm not too that enthused about it. I just thought it was kind of neat. I thought it was kind of neat, but yeah, getting it in hand is like, I don't know. It, it's it's fine for what it is, but I don't know. It's uh, hmm. probably well, I'll probably think it'll probably go down as weak as in the wave overall. Yes, including point blank. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this review. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my um, Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime One and support and support my uh, coffee and Patreon. I'll see you next time on another video review.